Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I will talk about my tire pressure issue, how I solved it, and share some additional tips. So for the past couple of years, I've had this issue where one or two of my tires lose air after about a week. For example, I would fill up my tires to 34 PSI, and one week later, I would have two tires that lost one to two PSI. While it is normal for tires to lose some air over time, the consistent weekly loss of air in tires is not normal. Over time, it just got worse, and I was topping off my tires just about every week. I also noticed that it wasn't the same tire that would lose air, and rotating my wheels did not change anything. So I thought maybe there's a puncture that I'm missing. I went to a tire shop and I had them check two tires for leaks and they didn't find any leaks. So next I decided to buy new valve cores. The valve cores have a thread and you can unthread them with a tool. It's really easy to do. I unthreaded them until the air was coming out. I let the air come out and then finished removing them when the tire was flat. Then I threaded in the new cores and inflated my tires. So here's my test. On January 17, 2021, I installed my new valve cores and inflated my tires to 34 PSI. This is during the daytime. I checked my tires again on February the 24th and they were all about 32 PSI, which is fine because they lose a little bit of air when it's cold. And the difference between the tires is about half a PSI. Boom, problem solved. So what did I learn from this experience? Number one, not all tire valves are created equal. Number two, buy some tire valves with a good rating on Amazon. Number three, if you keep losing air in a tire but have no leak, change the valve core and see if that helps. If that doesn't help, replace the whole tire valve. Okay, let's go over some additional tips. The recommended tire pressure for your tires should be on the door jam of your car. Some people think the number on the tire is the number, but that's actually the maximum tire pressure number. Do not fill your tires to that number. Using soap and water is an easy way to identify an air leak in a tire. Some tire shops will dip a rag or a sponge in soapy water and drip the soapy water on the suspected areas. If you see bubbles forming, then you know that that's a leak. Before completely changing out the valve core, you can buy the tool and see if you can just simply tighten the valve cores and maybe that'll eliminate your problem. It's a good idea to carry a tire pressure gauge in the glove box of your car and also have a tire inflator in the trunk. I have one that connects to the accessory socket and it has lasted me several years. This also will help you get to a tire shop if you have a slow leak. So you want to check your tires when they're cold, like early in the morning when the sun has not touched your tires, or in the late evening slash nighttime. Here's a little bonus. Here's a view inside the tire valve without the core. The core is also known as the Schrader valve. Here's what it looks like when you first insert the core without tightening it. This is what it looks like with the valve core removal tool inserted. I want you to notice this tapered end of the valve. As you thread in the core, the red portion seals against the tapered area of the valve. If we look at the old core and the new core, we can notice that the red seal is flat and worn on the old core. My hunch is that maybe this is where the air was leaking from. Alright, that's it folks. Check the video description for more information. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Leave questions down below in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one.